after understanding various fundamentals of the browser rendering process document object model different history of front end libraries now we are in a stage to understand why there is a purpose of library like react js right first we need to be very clear on this point because if you don't understand what was the actual purpose why react js has appeared and what problem it is solving then you can never be a good react js developer so i always believe if why is clear then how is very easy so if why react js is clear then how do you want to write a better code in react js will be very easy right so let's understand what are the main features of react like what are the core things which strongly put react on top of everything right so we need to we'll look into that okay so first thing so whatever we have discussed so far about the dom it was all about real dom so real dom like the html css the painting so all that is happening on the browser and we refer to it as real dom now react js comes with a new concept called as virtual dom and this is the heart and brain and everything about react js so how react js has introduced this virtual dom and how it using this virtual dom react has increased the loading time is awesome guys okay also one of the difficult problem which every front end developer used to face back then is development speed so let's say i want two web pages and both the web pages have almost the same content so what they have to do is ideally they have to copy the code control c and control v so there, there is no way you use the perform, use the code from one file in another file when you are writing the code in html or css now why is this affecting the development speed just imagine two pages is fine now you have reached to a point where you are using hundreds of web pages now you want to change the style of one common element how do you do or you want to change the content maybe you want to change the uh, company name maybe you want to put it in a different way the tagline etc now literally you have to go change in those whole 100 files you need to verify those all 100 files so the development speed was a very negative factor when you are developing in html or css now using react js the development speed is pretty fast now you are not focusing on the development speed you are actually focusing on what needs to be focused that is the speed the performance of the website and also the stability so it's not just you you load your website in couple of seconds or maybe in less than a second but the website is not stable at all nobody is going to look at your website right it should be stable it should not be lagging so when i say stable i i'm i'm not lagging or i, I don't feel any dizziness in the website right and interactive interface so it should be very quick like if i click a button it shouldn't take couple of minutes or couple of seconds even i'm not interested in waiting couple of seconds also so interactive interface it also provides a very good interactive interface and obviously the performance has been increased to huge to a huge level and that's the main reason react is competing with anybody in the market angular or vue js so it gives a very very good performance using this concept of virtual dom which we'll be understanding in a later series so virtual dom gives a strong reason and using that react has given a bet, best performance out of all libraries or framework in the current market and access to developers so when you are using a library uh, a lot like you are depending on that library a lot of people try to face different problems and each of them solve it different way and if uh, imagine all of these problems are common across everyone and if you can reuse that solution let's say i faced problem 1 and i have built a solution 1 now after couple of years same guy is trying to build the same kind of application now if he faces that problem he can easily i understand okay somebody else faced this and now i can reuse this solution so it saved that person's time now only now the amount the more number of people use the library 
it means it gets easy to many more people and trust me guys react js has very easy learning curve out of all available libraries in the market angular is very tough vue js is also a bit tough but react js is the one library which you focus and learn you can easily grasp all the concepts in just one week simple to use simple to learn very that is the biggest advantage right and it has lot of alternatives for everything like if you want to display carousel if you want to use a uh, css framework like not bootstrap exactly now we have evolved to material ui react strap etc so we have lot of other libraries for routing etc state management right and the flexible development is always the good thing now you can easily split your work because you can develop header and somebody else can develop footer now you just have to import it and the last thing is seo friendly so most client side rendering uh, frameworks or libraries are not really seo friendly so what is seo search engine optimization so seo friendly it is actually seo friendly and yeah what not so all of these features so one major thing which we need to keep in mind is that with react js with the concepts of react js you can build android ios and web application what else do you need guys just you learn the concepts of react you can apply the same concepts everywhere and you can build all of these applications native android and ios applications using the react native library which is a very very big advantage and why that is why react js is the top most library in the current market and it will be it is evolving a lot it is focusing on many new features so yes so focusing on react js really helps you a lot you can be a complete full stack when i say complete web android ios and obviously the more understanding of javascript you can move on to backend as well yeah